Hello, I'm MBM. Uh, I'm FDA. And um, I'm Smoothies. And this is Time Cop, or rather, this is the video game based off the movie Time Cop. Uh, I'm loving this, this like crappy MIDI rock and roll music. This is amazing. This is the entire soundtrack. Guess who actually did the soundtrack for this? Jun Tsunoi. No, David Cage. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, back when he actually was a musician and wasn't creating the arts. Uh, I, this is amazing. I have no idea what's going on. So this is based off a. Of, okay, this is based off a of what? A um, Van Damme film? Yes, a uh, Van Damme film that came out in like '94. It was pretty much an '80s film that came out in the '90s. That <laughs> looks like an '80s film. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> This is our bad guy. It's Eggman Nugget. <laughs> what? Only instead of golden nipples, he's got these. He's got red nipples. This game actually doesn't have the plot of the movie. It has its own plot, which is pretty much that this scientist guy, he's the man who invented time travel. This guy. It, he becomes a douchebag, and he's like, nah, time travel's all for me now. But then he time travels. This guy invented time travel. <laughs> he invented time travel, yeah. And then he picked up a time cop from the futuristic world of 2005, gave him some tacky jewelry, and then challenged him to a time duel. Even though he could just travel back in time to prevent time cop from even being born. <laughs> you know who that guy looked like? He looked like an older version of Screech from Saved by the Bell. That's amazing. <laughs> it reminds me of, uh, the... What's his name like? The guy from Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Judge Doom. <laughs> Judge Doom. Remember me, oh, Van? Oh wow! They're using the stock animations from SA1. <laughs> what? Okay, what, what console was this on? This was on the SNES. No way! This was on the SNES. Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! This was made in '95 when you know the gaming industry had this colossal boner for FMV. It was developed for the Sega CD, but that version wasn't published or released until 2007, when the coder for the CD version released it on the internet. It had a less MIDI soundtrack and some cutscenes, but all they did was just show off the level. It's like, when I looked at him in the music, I thought this would be on, on like the um, like the Sega CD or like one of those like Jaguar consoles that like no one ever played. Like, my god, this is a SNES game. <laughs> I know, look at these graphics, they're so realistic. It's a stage complete? What? What? <laughs> you, you, the first two stages are pretty short. You fell down! You fell down some floors and went right and you went left, sorry, and you won. <laughs> what? Look, the first, like, two levels are supposed to be mazes, but if you know where to go, they're both complete in a couple seconds. This is honestly the first actually long level. Oh my Who god. are these? Why are there spacemen without helmets trying to punch you and kick you? Oh my god, they're doing the can can! That's amazing. <laughs> these animations are so bad! In the future, people don't have knees. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> well, I love how that guy shoots his gun. He's just like, ah, oh, I'm gonna kill you now. <laughs> he, just ra he, just, he just raises it like, ah, oh, I believe this is your bullet. <laughs> Any enemy that's a human is honestly the weakest and lame. You just jump over them. When they start bringing in the turrets, those guys fucking suck. I, I, I just can't believe this game exists. I mean, what? <laughs> it's amazing, I know. Do these doors mean anything? No. no. All you can do is ride the elevators and fall down the holes. So basically, you just go from right to left. And then sometimes you go left, and sometimes you go right. Also, here's combat. Uh, that that was that, that made Mortal Kombat look like shit. That was amazing. It's just punching and kicking. I don't like doing it. You can punch and kick people, which is lame, or you can actually use your gun. But they don't give you a lot of ammo in the first couple levels. Like, I already have no ammo. Uh, now I have four. <laughs> four ammo. It's amazing. <laughs> and I'm gonna waste them all because it takes two to kill turrets. And the thing that sucks is that the length of my bullet is as far as the length of their bullet. So in order to get in range to shoot them, I gotta get in range for them to shoot me, and they always get the jump. Oh, oh don't talk like that, Mexi. I like the length of your bullet. I think it's nice. Oh, no more bullets. You also get bombs. You kind of know when there's like a big red circle that appears on the screen. That's me using a bomb. I I have no idea why, but for some reason they like I, I imagine this is meant to be Van Damme. To me, it just looks like the irate gamer <laughs> running around. They're like this is like the worst. It's like so dumb. It does. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's just 
Chris Bores, like, a, it, it, like this looks like an irate gamer skit where he gets sucked into a game and runs around badly. How do you know that isn't what this game is? And I'm just lying to you guys. <laughs> uh, that, that'd be amazing if this was like Chris Bores in, in video game format. What is this place that we're in? This is the headquarters of the Time Cops, I think. So the headquarters of the Time Cops is just like falling apart. <laughs> yeah, well, it's 2004, so oh, okay. the architecture isn't really all that there. I mean, we can time travel, which is awesome. I remember back in the year 2004, you basically had to jump around in any building that you went into because you weren't sure if the floor was going to collapse or not. Dark times. Dark, dark times. times. The great building collapse of 2004. <laughs> dark times. Where were you when that happened? I was jumping over machines and punching people randomly. What were you doing? <laughs> Pretty much the same thing. He just looked like, like he's rocking out to the music. Look at him. He's like, yeah. <laughs> do, 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 I'm a fucking badass. Van Damme is going to rock out to the music in so many other levels. Like, you haven't even seen it. This level sucks because even if you avoid... All the scientist guy and all the Roombas. Or the Goombas. And all the robots. The falling rocks will still get you. <laughs> like I said, this level sucks as if the previous three haven't. No, the first three were okay because I was just running and jumping. Now I gotta run and jump and try and get away from people. Uh, oh. Earlier I was just running and jumping, but now I have to jump and run. <laughs> yes. And shoot. Run, jump, shoot. This is pretty much Mega Man in 3D. Please, you, you, you ever compare this to Mega Man again, what? I'm gonna hurt you. It's time what kind of definition of 3D are you using? I... Graphics! Oh, it's a DeLorean. It's the time car! He's your only friend. It's actually called a time pod that the scientist guy threw you in, but it's a time car. He's your best friend. Um, okay. <laughs> you just drive off. That's the end of World 1. Yeah, it's... Worlds are divided into, like, individual levels. World 1 is actually the longest. <laughs> it's Screech. <laughs> it's, it's, if Screech and Judge Doom had a baby, this is their offspring. These are the cutscenes. This is how every single cutscene in this game is going to be. Oh my gosh. I'm like, like, I haven't been reading the text. Is, is the text all important? No. The text is just saying that... <laughs> Judge Doom is going back in time to get minerals in the bottom of the ocean to control future technology. Time Cop, stop him! What? Who is Time Cop? Does he have a backstory? He probably does in the movie, but does it matter? Why? So, does it honestly help you in the immersion of walking under the ocean and shooting octopus? Yeah, I, I, have to, I have to ask Octopi. this. Exactly, I'll ask why, if one for one, why is he perfectly walking at the bottom of the ocean? Two, why are all the octopi exploding when you shoot them for? Three, like, do bullets, the, 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 like, I never fired a gun underwater. Would it work the same underwater? Or would, would, like, the density of the water mess it up? You can't shoot guns underwater, basically. So this, this, I'm sorry, like, I, I was completely buying the realism of this game up until this moment, but now it's just lost on me. Oh no no! This is 2004. This is the future. You can no, probably not you can probably <laughs> shoot guns and oh, it's not. No, now we're in uh, 1940 something or 1930. What? Oh, did the text tell us that? Yeah, the start of the level tells you what time and what location you're in. It's like his falling animation was genius. It's just. Oh my what? god! Just keeps <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> The only sad thing about this level is that I like to avoid killing all the enemies just to keep walking, but if you don't kill enough octopi, they start to lag the game to shit, and it's at those times that I use the bomb what? to get rid of them so that the game just stops lagging. I gotta ask, what, what company made this game? Ah, uh, don't fucking this. Oh yeah, Cryo Interactive. Oh, they made any other games? If you don't know what they made, they made Dune. That's it. Dune? Yeah. Amazing. They just made a bunch of shitty FMV games, that's it. And then they died. <laughs> this reminds me of the plot to SpongeBob. <laughs> In fact, this would be amazing if you were just playing as Sally Acorn and you had a bunch of Squidwards trying to kill you. <laughs> Sally Acorn? <laughs> Oh, did I say Sally Acorn? I meant to say. <laughs> 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 
Sandy, man. Get, know your lore. Oh, Sandy, Sally. Uh... That would be the best, like, kind of cross-promotion ever. Sandy Acorn murders Squidward. I know I'd like play that game. <laughs> I love that jumping animation. He just keeps walking in things. <laughs> that is amazing. Jumping underwater is very difficult. And in case you didn't notice, in the upper right corner, there is a timer. Oh my god. If you don't collect the one timer power-up in this level, you will run out of time and game over. Can, can you run? No, this is as fast as you can go. I am going at maximum over troll. <laughs> Gotta go slow. Gotta go slower, slower. I... I, like I said, this is, I, this is trying to also limit lag. I, I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that this game exists. Like, <laughs> why? It exists for our entertainment. It, I've seen other games that came out on the SNES, and I, I mean, for the SNES, these graphics are they are pretty alright. Boss fight! It's a giant octopus! All you do is just walk around on its insides and shoot it up. I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. <laughs> up his ass. I, I actually really want this soundtrack. I, I'm, I'm not kidding, I want to download this and rock out to it. 45. And now we're playing a shmup! So we're at 1945, World War II has just been won by the Allies, and now Time Cop is under the water blowing the crap out of all the aquatic life. <laughs> it was a good year! 1945 was a good year! <laughs> this was actually what signaled our victory in World War II. <laughs> this, this Honestly, year. killing the Nazis was just a side effect. We really just wanted to be able to shoot shit underwater. Yeah, we only won because we only won because Time Cop blew the crap out of all these octopus. The Nazis were actually training these octopi. <laughs> To attack the, 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 the to attack the navy, so time got <laughs> him back and killed them all, and that way our boys were able to win. God bless you, time cop. <laughs> <laughs> you, you time traveling, a glorious bastard. Uh, also, in this level, they give you a ridiculous amount of ammo. Like I'm sitting at 80, 70 amounts of ammo. Uh, your ammo resets at the next level, so all this ammo is just gonna go to waste. Star Fox, Star Fox 64 wishes it was this good. <laughs> but like, what? I just can't, like, what is, what is it underwater for? Like, there's nothing, apart from like, some of the plant life moving. Like, why is this underwater for? Like, why is this spaceship? Like, is it, Steven, why? Just, just why? Um, Harbage. The world may never know. 